Welcome to Mars. Let's get into the uh, the barbershop. Yes, sir. So, uh, why did you even get into uh, barbering in the first place? Uh, child support. Damn. <laughs> you got, <laughs> you you got to keep it solid. You just going to keep it real yeah, on got, Mars Radio? Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. You got to keep it solid. All right. Yeah, so, they start um, garnishing. Yeah, it's good. <clears throat> yeah. So you needed a cash business. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, allegedly. So, you know. Yeah. All good. right. So, what is it that you like about barbering besides the legal aspects? <laughs> besides the legalities? I mean, to be honest, um, barbering is an art. And, yeah. and I didn't just get into barbering. Just, yeah. I, I got my license, because, but I've been cutting since I was young because my mom used to make me cut all my little cousins here. Right. But that's a different type of cutting. It ain't... When, oh, you, yeah, really, sure. when you really get into barbering, barbering is an art, bro. And it's... Yeah. It's, it's stroke technique, it's, it's hand technique, yeah. it's eye coordination, it's lighting. Like barbering is, is a real art. And so I just enjoy it because my canvas never the same every day. So every day I see somebody different, talk to somebody different, do a different haircut, got to, you know. So um, being how you became a barber and then you opened a barber shop, do you think that there's a natural transition between becoming a barber to opening your own shop? Or do you think that um, it's it's normal for some people to just stay barbers? Mm, I think it's who you are as a person. Okay. So because even before I opened up my own shop, I already had my own shop. I turned my studio, which was 800, 900 feet, into a barber shop before I even had my license. Right. So I was going to get my license when I first put cheers into my studio for right. barbering. So it depends on what type of person you are as mm -hmm. well. Okay. So um, once you're the type of person to always want to um, lead from the front, you can open up any business of, of whatever it is that you're doing. No, huh? straight up. And I, I think I don't think it's so much that you want to lead. I think that's just who you are. You're just a leader. Right. Because like I said, man, I don't I ain't never wanted to lead nobody like that, but people just follow me. So it made it hard for me not to be like because yeah. I just was doing my thing and people was like, all right, I'm gonna get in and do what you're doing. Right. Where are you doing it at? Well, all right, I'm going over here. All right, well, I'm coming with you. Right. All right, well, I'm going to do this. Well, I'm about to. So it wasn't the fact that I was like, hey, I want to be the leader. It was like, I'm going to just keep pushing. If y'all want to rock, let's yeah. go. Yeah. And people just naturally, probably most of your adult life, have just been following your lead. I mean, I just, I mean, I try to always be a solid dude, you know what I mean? And just try to never fuck over people and just give them solid advice, like from, you know, a deeper place than just, Motherfuckers just want to see you do bad. I feel it. I feel it. So, um, how long have you had your barbershop? Which one? Oh, I get it. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations on the barbershop. What's the name of it for people that want to hit you up? Uh, phase three. Uh, my first one was UT Vita. My second one, the one I got now, is phase three. Um, <laughs> if y'all want to hit me up, that's phase three, P H A Z E. Uh, underscore three, that's on IG. Got it. All right.